What makes a successful company? It's more than just a place. A building. Or the products it sells. Companies come and go, but the successful ones remember their humble beginnings and the lessons they've learned to help them move forward. I started in the receiving department um, just basically putting away freight. You know, you put in a lot of hard work and I believe the company, you know, shows their appreciation. And uh, I think that's what's a big draw for a lot of people that are you know, we have a lot of people that have worked here for 30 years, 20 years, 15 years. A lot of my truck drivers that are here have been here with us forever. You know, and it's, I think it has a lot to do with that, that, you know, solidarity with the, with the company. Well, when I first started at Pace back in 1997, not every branch had a branch manager. For instance, the Santa Rosa branch didn't have one, and that's because we were so small at that time, our corporate office and our accounting offices were actually in our branch. We have grown not just with employees, but our whole uh, support system uh, via the, the, our accounting department. They do a great job. There's a lot of work behind the scenes that makes everything flow, and it's not just the people in the warehouse or the sales staff that, that helps us do that. So I would say that my customer isn't really the, the customers that come into the counter, rather it's, it's, it's the guys at the branches that actually are my customers. And uh, over 21 years I've had an opportunity to do a lot of different things with the company and, and kind of learned it from the ground up. Um, started off sweeping the floors and then I uh, just kind of grew my responsibilities from there and, and learned a lot of different things and then later working with different people. and. You know, you learn stuff from them, and then that helps your career, and you keep moving forward, and that's been what's really cool. Every day you learn something new at Pace, you know. It's, this is a good atmosphere, you know, everybody's good, everybody's friendly, everybody gets along very well, good chemistry, all work together very well. You know, everybody teaches each other something. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good place to work in, especially with these people. To build a successful brand, you need to make and keep a promise. A brand's promise is strengthened or weakened through the interactions with every customer, every day, over time. The customers. Customers, I like to say pay stands for uh, passionate about our customers' experience, you know, and um, because that's what everybody's goal is, to make our customers want to think of our drivers and think of our salesmen and think of our uh, people answering the phones and, and, and all that. And, uh, and uh, I think everybody does that. Everybody's on the same page with that at Pace, and, and, and I like being part of that. Um, and, and, and it doesn't matter what I'd be doing here. I just know that I'd be part of something great like that, that we all are going towards the same goal of, of, of keeping the customers satisfied and happy. You build that customer relationship with them, and you know they come in here and request you at the counter, and it's like, okay. And, you know, they feel comfortable dealing with, with me rather than going somewhere else and dealing with somebody else. Uh, customer service, for sure, um, is a big, big part of our business. Uh, trying, to, trying to be as efficient as possible because time's money. Um, everybody's busy, so we, we want to make sure that we're we're helping in that regard, um, doing our part to, to get, get contractors and plumbers in and out, and we make
make sure that happens at every level over the counter, with our deliveries, with our interactions over the phone. So in terms of that, I think Pace can outshine other, other competitors. Actually, you know what? We've got some of those three-quarter by half-inch keys if you want. I, 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 I get them right. Pace Supply, Steven speaking. Are you looking for Schedule 80 or Schedule 40? Well, I think what makes us unique is, um, you know, customer calls in and he's needs a roughing valve, a colder roughing valve, let's just say. And uh, we don't happen to have it here, but we have it in 99, our distribution center. So what happens is I put the order through, I set the transfer up, it gets sent down to 99, the guys down there pull it, they box it, check it, all that stuff, put it on the transfer truck. The next day, it arrives here in Ukiah, comes off, my receivers get here in the morning, they take it out, check it in, make sure everything's good. And uh, then they go through, my guys make phone calls, let these contractors know that, hey, your product's here. They come on in, pick it up, and it's it's really a simple process. It's uh, really what I think makes us stand aside from other companies is the fact that we try to make things as simple as possible to make sure the customer gets it as quickly as possible. You listen to customers and you know where they're going and it makes it uh, a good relationship with a customer that he can speak to someone who kind of understands what they're talking about and where they want to go. And that's what I enjoy doing, just keeping customers happy. And I tell you, my phone rings all day long. <laughs> I think that pace sets ourselves apart because if we make a mistake, we do our best to, to rectify it. We always try to help the customer. I don't think that pace has lost that vision and customers can tell, you know, employees can tell. not just cogs in a machine. It's their personality, character, and reputation that defines who they are. And it's their personal histories, dreams, and desires that contribute to a thriving company culture. And in the right environment, they will freely go above and beyond expectations because they want to, not just because it's their job. It's nice getting to go out and see all the different places. Most of the customers know who you are and they'll see you pull in, so they'll come out and pretty much greet you as you're getting out of the truck. It's pretty cool. They know you by name and then the same. I know them, hop out and give them a hand unloading and be on my way to the next stop. I, I love the job and I love everybody here. It just seems like a, everybody is team players and everybody works together good. You know, there's room for advancement and just great group of people. I've, I've, uh, I've enjoyed every day of it. It's, it's nice. It's out here in Napa too. I mean, as you can see in the background, all this, it's beautiful out here. I, I drive a lot for sure. I've logged 123,000 miles on this truck um, I'm on the road about 50 to 60 percent of the time, actually physically in my vehicle. Yeah. Everything about outside sales is awesome. If you like people and rejection and winning, that's what I think. When you walk away from a win and you walk away from that win without being the lowest number on the street, you're, you're winning because of the service level you provide and the partnership that you have with that said contractor, it's an amazing feeling. There's nothing better than winning. I mean, I, I've always been a competitive person, but the sky's the limit. And you realize, well, I've realized that when you give and give and give, and eventually it comes back around. And it's amazing. Yeah, I got nothing but good stuff to say about pay supply, that's for sure. And Ted Green, very gracious, very, very gracious person. I've been with Pace for five years and I hope that I can spend the rest of my working career here, that's for sure.
every role that we're looking at in the company, we want people that uh, are self-driven and want to be successful at what they do. And, and most importantly, they need to enjoy what they're doing. Uh, we like what we do and we like to surround ourselves with people that love the industry that we're in. It's a very good industry and people that are, are in it long term seem to stay in it and seem to love not only the industry itself but the people that they're involved with. Personally, you know, I, I, I'm grateful to have this job. I'm grateful for pay supply, you know, and uh, I think a lot of people feel the same way. I like it here. It's like a family here. With pay supply, um, you're, you're family here. Everyone uh, works together, we work as a team. Here? You can start from the bottom and work yourself all the way to the top. Everyone's easy to deal with, so I definitely appreciate that. We all are just a very close little tight-knit family. It's like Even if we're not working at the same branch, everyone is just really close with one another. I would say it's a great place to work, I'm, you know, that I actually enjoy coming to work. I love talking to people. I love, I, you know, I just love the atmosphere. It's fun, it's upbeat. It's that and, and then some. Uh, we, we have a very family atmosphere. We're almost like kind of like a family. It's more than just work. It's a family. We've got a strong family. One big giant family. It still feels like it's a mom and pop deal. I feel very privileged working for this outfit. A successful company is a human endeavor, a confluence of the unique talents, ideas, and experiences of its people. Above all else, it's human beings that define and add value to a business. Because it's not just what a company does, but who a company is that matters. Supply, working together.